What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the LinkedIn Insight tag on your website using Google Tag Manager. So we're going to get started here in our LinkedIn Campaign Manager account and I'm going to open up my Campaign Manager account here and where we're going to go is over on the left hand side we're going to click on Analyze and you can see Insight tag right here. So we're going to choose Insight tag. Now what we want to do is we want to use a tag manager. You can also install the tag yourself, but I would highly recommend just using Google Tag Manager to do this process because it's much easier and as long as you have Google Tag Manager installed on your website, you never have to worry about the Insight tag being removed from your website. I will also be showing you how to install Google Tag Manager on your website as well. So let's click I will use a tag manager and all you need right here is your partner ID. So now once we have our partner ID, let's come back over to our Google Tag Manager account. And the way that I install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website is with the head, footer, and post injections plugin. So install this plugin through your WordPress website. And if we come over to my WordPress website here, you can see I have head, footer, footer, and post injections right here. When you go to your plugins and you click on add new, just search head, footer, post injections. You can see the name of it right at the top. Just look for this logo right here, this HNF logo, install it, activate, and then go to your settings for your WordPress website and go to header and footer. Now, when you go to header and footer, it's going to open up this page right here. You'll see the head and footer tab right here. So in your Google Tag Manager account, after you set it up, you should be prompted with an option to install Google Tag Manager. If not, then go to the admin tab in your Tag Manager account, click on install Google Tag Manager, and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this right here. So copy that, go back over to the head, footer, and post injections plugin, and paste that first piece of code right here. So it's the head page section injection. The next thing you need to do is go back to your Google Tag Manager account, copy this piece of code. So this one needs to be pasted immediately after the opening body tag. Now with this plugin, if we scroll down, you can see after the body tag. So we're going to paste this right here and then paste it over on the right hand side, select the mobile, scroll to the bottom and click on save. Once you do that, you will have this code added to your website. Now the last step to install Google Tag Manager is you need to submit your workspace. So go back to your workspace for Tag Manager and click on submit, add a descriptive name, add a description. I'm just going to put one, two, three, one, two, three right now because I've already done this and click on publish. Once you follow those steps, you will now have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. So all we need to do now, this is very easy process, is go over to your workspace. From your workspace, you want to click add a new tag, click on tag configuration. And what you need to do is click on discover more tag types in the community template gallery. You'll see it right at the top here. So discover more tag types and what you're going to search is LinkedIn insight tag. So from the search bar, LinkedIn insight tag, and you need 2.0, you're going to click on this and add it to your workspace. So this will be added to all of your tags. So if we come back over here, when I'm choosing my tag type and I search LinkedIn insight tag 2.0, you'll see it right here. You basically just need to go through the process of clicking and adding this to your tags. Choose LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. This is actually the method that LinkedIn recommends is using this tag in your Google Tag Manager account. Let's name our tag real quick. So we'll say LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. Click on Tag Configuration again. Come back over to your LinkedIn Ads account. And this is what you need is your partner ID. So if you click on it, it will copy your partner ID. Go back to Tag Manager. Just paste your partner ID right here. This is all you need to do in this top portion for your tag configuration. And then you need to trigger this tag on all pages. So we're going to click on save. And now once we submit our workspace again, we will now have Google Tag Manager installed on our website. And then when you click on submit, add a descriptive name, add a description. Okay, so I have my name and description here and we'll click on publish. Now what you can do to make sure that you have this installed properly on your website is you can come back to your Chrome web store and you can see LinkedIn Insight Tag Checker by the B2B house. So if you add this to your Chrome, I go back over to my website here. So I'm on a page on my website. You'll see up at the very top this Chrome extension. So if I click on it, you'll see the LinkedIn Insight Tag Checker. Click on inspect and you should see your Insight Partner ID right here. You probably need to refresh the page after you add this Chrome extension. But once you add the Chrome extension, activate it, you should have your LinkedIn Insight Tag properly installed on your website. So that will allow you to track conversions and build audiences within your LinkedIn advertising account. So we'll click on OK. 
come back over to our LinkedIn advertising account, and that's all we need to do. Now we have this installed. You can manage your insight tag right here and make any changes you need to, but if you have any questions about installing the insight tag on your website, very easy process. You could follow the steps here and you will have it installed on your website. It will never go away and you can easily track conversions on your website using this. So thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.